We're Charlie and Leanne, a couple from California who left our cushy suburban life to spend the next several years cruising around the Pacific Ocean on our boat, Juliet. And our little dog, too. In our last video, we kind of skipped ahead of our timeline and shared something that had just happened, the story of our recent stay in Zawatneo, including a really scary incident in which I got assaulted. But we've now put that behind us, and for this video, we will return to where we previously left off, in Tenacatita. Our next destination in our journey up the Mexican Gold Coast is Bahia Chamela, which is about a 29 nautical mile sail from Tenacatita. We raised anchor just after sunrise, and off we went. We're sailing along from Tenacatita to Tamela, which is a short half-day sail typically, but we've only got six knots of wind, which means we're only going about three knots over, over ground. Uh, we have all three sails up, the, the mainsail, the staysail, and the headsail, uh, the jib. And uh, it, it's happy, the boat is happy. It's well balanced, the autopilot's just taking it easy, not struggling. And uh, we're going towards our destination at about three knots. Previously, I would have not sailed at three knots, uh, but now that we're retired on the boat full time, it's not like we have any place to go, so uh, going to three knots isn't so bad. At least we're moving. There's enough of a breeze to keep it nice and cool, so it's very comfortable, and uh, we're having a good day. Plus, that means more time for me to fish. I got my line out, and I'm hoping to catch something. which is good, it's not a skipjack. It's big. It's definitely a, a big whatever it is. <laughs> so um, getting rid of the bananas off the boat seems to have broken my, my uh, loser streak and I caught a fish. Wow, I can't believe I actually caught one. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a big one. A member of the mackerel family, Pacific bonitas are migratory schooling pelagic fishes Found in the Eastern Pacific, they are voracious eaters and, like most pelagic fish, are scrappy fighters and a lot of fun to catch. Bonitas are generally not highly thought of as a food fish by local anglers, and I'd thrown back a few that I previously caught because I thought they were skipjacks, which have a really dark flesh and are not good eating at all. But then I read that in other parts of the world, bonitas are highly prized, especially in the Mediterranean. Turns out that if you bleed them quickly and remove the bloodline, the flesh will be more of a pale color and can be very tasty. So I looked up a good bonita recipe from the Med, which involves marinating in garlic, smoked paprika, and lemon juice, and then grilling it. So after filleting, I put it on to marinate. Check that out! Woo! And we arrived in Chamela with plenty of time for me to grill up this amazing dinner. I am never throwing back another bonito. So, we're in Chamela. It's a small town in the state of Jalisco, sandwiched between miles of golden sand beaches and a narrow estuary. The bay itself is enormous and well protected from wind and waves, so we were pretty surprised to discover that we were the only boat there. Just the realities of cruising during a pandemic, I guess. There are just not as many boats out here these days. Unlike some of the other charming little towns along this coast, this one is not particularly pretty. It's just kind of a dusty one street town with a few small hotels. However, there was a lot of construction going on that appeared to be hotels in the making, which seems to indicate that they are planning on becoming much more of a tourist draw. The village at the head of the anchorage is lined with the typical beachside palapa restaurants and small tiendas. 
Unfortunately, the surf is a bit rough in front of those places, making for a rather challenging dinghy landing. Well, I just got drenched on our first beach landing in Tamela. Uh, and then we see that it's a much bigger town than we thought it was. And there's this whole section here, this whole area, like a little malecon. And then um, you have to enter the river, but it's deep enough. And then they have all these docks with pangas on them. So we're just wondering if rather than doing these wet beach landings, we can maybe land our uh, dinghy on these docks. I'm gonna try and find that out. So not only are they building hotels here, but they are constructing this brand new malecon along the estuary. There's nothing here yet, as it's all still under construction, but there's a sign indicating what the plans are for this malecon, including a pier, boat docks, public bathrooms, and at the very end, a fish market. Once it's all done, it could be very nice. Once we recovered from our drenched landing, we took Bubba for a nice long walk along the Malacan. The mouth of the river made for some pleasant bird watching. And then we headed over to the beach for a little stroll. The local panga owners here will take beachgoers out for rides in the bay. We were wondering how they get these pangas through the surf zone though, when we saw this. Check that out! <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Although we like it here on Bahia Chamela, we're going to leave a day earlier than originally planned. We're going to leave this afternoon. Um, reason is we'd like to get to La Cruz for Sunday morning when they have their last um, farmer's market of the year. We really want to go there, pick up uh, some fresh fruits and veggies and tamales and all those goodies that they have. And also it's going to be a relatively calm rounding of Cabo Corrientes uh, Saturday early morning. So it, timing works out really well. Um, we'll go into the beach here, Chamela, this morning after breakfast, um, fly the drone, see the village. Uh, Leanne will do a run and Bubba and I will walk along the beach. But um, after that, we'll come back to the boat, load up, and take off. We made this decision rather suddenly, and I'm not really ready. <laughs> my, my drone battery needs to charge, so uh, I plugged it in, and I'm sitting here waiting for it to hurry up and charge. Um, we don't want to leave too much later after 1 o'clock, so um, hurry up, battery! Our next leg is to go from Chamela to La Cruz in Banderas Bay, which is about 96 nautical miles and involves an overnight passage. It also rounds Cabo Corrientes, which is notorious for the strong northwesterly winds that often blow through there. Our weather forecast showed that leaving this afternoon would give us our best chance to avoid those. What's your name? Debra. Hi, Deborah. Hi. I'm Charlie. She's Leanne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. These are pretty big. Yeah, these, this is much bigger than the ones that were here on Tuesday. Is that uncommon? Well, no, it's common for this time of year. Okay. Only this time of year are they here. Yeah. And only this time of year is the, is the water like this. The uh, water is usually clear. Yeah, that's what surprised me. I thought it was supposed to be real clear, and it's pretty murky. Okay, do you get whales here? Pretty sure this is a jelly known as the Pacific Sea Nettle. This is kind of far south for them, as they generally range from Oregon through California and down to Baja, but apparently they do show up here occasionally. We stayed out of the water, as their sting can be pretty painful. We're going to try something different this time. Uh, we're going to go into the new uh, dock area. 
which is up the river. So we have to do a little river bar crossing and then look for a deep enough spot that we can uh, make it with the dinghy. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I think there'll be less surf, but uh, there might be more navigation looking for uh, depth that we can get through. getting themselves set up for uh, future tourism. Um, there's this big dock here, which is new, and of course this whole new Malacan. Um, it's looking like they might try to host cruise ships here, because that looks like they're, I mean, they're building a huge setup in there, and that looks like a dock where you could put a small cruise ship, so. Okay, we're going in now. Got to watch for rocks. We, the high tide is up, up right now. The, the tide is high, so uh, it looks like we've got a good path. So if this place does ever get built up with uh, cruise ships, they can always put some fake crocodiles up on the uh, estuary here. <laughs> some fake birds, maybe animate them a little bit so they move. Yeah. It's funny because in our last video, um, the river tour, we had somebody, a, a commenter on our YouTube channel, accuse the uh, place of putting up fake crocodiles because they weren't moving. <laughs> Look, it's an animatronic bird. Well, it looks like we made it through the shallow part. Um, the tide might be a little lower when we go back because I'm going to fly the drone for a little while and then go for a run. Um, but it, I think it's, it'll be fine and this is going to make this place way more uh, attractive to cruisers. Anytime where you don't have to do a rough beach landing, where you've got docks where you can put your dinghies, you're going to get a lot more cruisers. Ooh, another animatronic bird. This one swivels its head. And we have an animatronic dog. What do you think? That was too easy. <laughs> it's way easier than yesterday. Yeah. My back sure prefers tying up to a, a dock than picking up the dinghy and pulling it up the beach and then dragging it back down the beach. Success! We got in, we got tied up to the dock, I went for a run, I flew my drone. Um, now we're coming out of the river, and uh, even though the tide looks down a little bit, it looks like it's still um, plenty deep enough. So, um, yeah, this is a successful venture. Well, I got to fly my drone and go for a nice long run. And exiting the river was just as easy as going in. There's that same animatronic bird. Time to say goodbye to Chimela and move on to the next gorgeous spot on Mexico's Gold Coast. We weighed anchor right on time and sailed off into the afternoon sun. Hey, want to keep our videos coming? Help support our channel by buying us a drink. Visit our Patreon page to see how.